Gymshark will soon be bigger than Nike. With its recent $7 million investment into Gymshark HQ, we got excited. In a matter of minutes, you will be able to recreate your very own Gymshark HQ. Just like Ben Francis turned nothing into over $1 billion, you'll turn nothing into a blacked out building. What took Ben's team of architects years to model, I'm gonna show you in a matter of minutes. So there's no messing around today. Let's turn around to these two screens and get started. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna take a couple screenshots of where Gymshark HQ is located. I've located it on Google Maps. I'm gonna simply take a quick screenshot of that building, including a scale bar so we can scale it properly. Coming into 3D satellite terrain, I'm going to also take a couple screenshots of the actual building so I know what's happening on the outside. Now we're going to start by dragging the first original screenshot into ARCHICAD 25 so we can start with the base and understand how big that building is. By pressing Ctrl plus K we can rescale this picture accordingly. So we scale up this bar here to 20 meters and now we have the size of our actual building. Ctrl D opens it up to movement, let's just move it out of that space we have our building perfectly in the middle of our screen. Click on a wall tool, select external. We're not gonna go into any details today of ARCAD. We're just gonna smash out the model of this building so you can do the same very, very quickly. Following through, we're literally just gonna copy the shape of this building all the way around. Now that we have the outline of the building, we can delete the map behind us and we can click on our 3D model to understand how far we've come already. We can then again, Command D, drag that over Command T and increase the scale and size to be proportionally correct. So in this case, that's 10 meters. We can understand by tapping M to get our measuring tool out that this building is about 10 and a half meters in the center and about 12 and a half meters in the middle. Coming back into 3D, we'll see those walls have skyrocketed all the way up. So to create a nice sprung roof, we're gonna use the shell tool. I'm going to select one end, the second end, drag all the way up. We come back in, take a look at the Gymshark HQ. You'll see it's this beautiful glass black building now compared to what it was before. So we have a portico at the front, glass everywhere, and just a black building for the rest. So relatively simple, selecting Command T. Let's repaint all of our walls to black straight away. Let's go ivory black, okay. Sorted, we have the start. Again, do the same thing for the roof. Replace that with ivory black. Now we have that roof reconnected by splitting the, that roof in half, cutting away the excess 4.9. So we quickly tap 4.9 away, re come into this 3D. Command T, dropping this back down. Let's go to four meters. We'll simply drag and drop a nice big slab on top of that. Control D, bring that up and making sure that is black as well. Now we have the start of our Gymshark building. All we have to do now is introduce all of our glass elements. What we see is four identical windows across the front face of this building. So we're talking about six meters wide, three meters high in total. We can start by utilizing window 25. So we're gonna change that to six meters wide, three and a half meters tall, which straight away gives us the window we are looking for. Four horizontal, one vertical will give us the look that we are after in this situation. So clicking OK, coming back to our building itself, we can introduce one window here, a second window here. Now if we come into 3D, we'll see we've already created the first two of our windows. Going back to the original Gymshark photo, they are on the ground. Measure again, we can see they're five meters in the air. So 3D window, click on these two windows once, Command D, drag to the bottom, Command D, Command once more. Five, two, drags it all the way up. We have our Gymshark buildings and our Gymshark windows happening very, very quickly. I'm gonna replicate the same process on the rest of these walls and come back to you really quick. I have recreated all the windows on the side, introduced one large window at the back, and also extended one huge pane of glass at the front here, whilst also introducing the entry to the Gymshark HQ, as you can see here. The final finishing touches to make this a perfect, quick remodeling of the Gymshark HQ is the massive, iconic Gymshark logo that we see on the glass here. So if we want to recreate that, we have to find a Gymshark logo like we have right here. So let's save that to our downloads. Come to our ARCHICAD and simply just go to our ground floor, dragging and dropping that logo directly in. I'm gonna start by using the Morph tool to redraw this shape exactly as it is. So if we quickly trace around 
the Gymshark logo by clicking around every tooth and then simply expanding out on the curved sections of the Gymshark logo. Within a matter of five seconds, we've recreated that Gymshark logo, which is absolutely massive. So Command T, starting from the bottom, assuming the top, dragging down six meters. Let's simply drag that roughly close to the front of our building, come into 3D. You'll see that we have the Morph logo in 3D. So if we select both the logo, Command T, let's make that out a solid 100 millimeters downwards on both sides, so 100 millimeters there, and again on the eye, 100 millimeters. We have a logo that we can work with. If we click on both sides, click on the front of our building, Command E. We're gonna use each individual plane to help us reorientate our logo exactly the way we want it. So Command E, 90 degrees, using the top of this, Command E again, 90 degrees. Command D allows us to move it, place it exactly where we want and drag it into position. I still think that's excessively big. So Command T, picking one side, picking another and rescaling. I think we need to scale that to about four meters. So that should be perfectly sized now. If we drag and drop that roughly to the middle, just double check the color. It is a nice white glow, Command T override surface and let's paint that a titanium white with a black outline on all sides. Clicking OK and there we have it. We have our Gymshark HQ building completed in a matter of minutes. Anyway, that's all for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and as always, I'll see you next Monday.